Hey guys, today we are looking at slope intercept form equations. We are going to answer the question, what is slope intercept form of an equation and what do the different variables mean? So this is slope intercept form y equals mx plus b. You'll hear that a lot the rest of the year and in your algebra class and throughout all of high school, y equals mx plus b. So m is the slope and b is the y intercept. We have looked at both of those things before. Now we're going to be able to tell what the slope and the y-intercept are from this equation. So m is the slope and b is the y-intercept. And then we also have x and y. x and y make an ordered pair. If you input an x value, then you can determine the matching y value that creates an ordered pair in a slope intercept form equation. And we will do that later on in this unit to determine ordered pairs on the line. So this is slope intercept form of an equation. It forms a line. So first what we're gonna do is just determine the slope and the y intercept of these equations. So slope is the number in front of x. So slope in this instance would be two and the y intercept is the number by itself so it would be three. Okay, then on this next equation, y equals one half x minus seven, the slope would be one half since that's the number in front of x and the y-intercept would be negative seven since it's minus seven. Then on the next one, number three, y equals negative three x minus 10. The slope would be negative three since that's the number in front of x, and the y-intercept would be negative 10. Okay, this next one is written a little bit backwards, y equals two minus four x. So slope is the number in front of x. This isn't written in the usual order that we see it, but slope is still the number in front of x, so that means the slope is negative four. And then the y-intercept is the number by itself, so it's two. Okay, next equation, y equals two-thirds x. The number in front of x is two-thirds. And there is nothing being added to this equation and the number we use to represent nothing is zero. So the y-intercept of y equals two-thirds x would be zero. And then number six, y equals x minus two. Remember, if we have an x by itself, it has an invisible coefficient of one. So the slope is one there, and the y-intercept is negative two. Okay, last thing we're gonna do is write equations in slope-intercept form given their slope and y-intercept. So remember, slope-intercept form is y equals mx plus b. And m is the slope and b is the y-intercept. So this slope-intercept form equation with a slope of four and a y-intercept of negative five would be y equals four x minus five. Okay, next one, slope is m, y-intercept is b. The slope is negative four-thirds, so it'd be y equals negative four-thirds x, and then the y-intercept is a positive one, so it'd be plus one. Okay, next one, slope equals negative one, and the y-intercept, or b, is three. So the equation would be y equals negative one x plus three. So that's correct, but there's a little bit more simple way to write negative one at x as just negative x. So the most proper form of that equation in slope intercept form would be y equals negative x plus three. Okay, next one, our slope is five fourths and the y-intercept is zero. This equation would be y equals five fourths x for the slope plus zero. But there's a little bit more simple way to write that. We don't have to put plus zero because that doesn't change it. So y equals five fourths x would be the best way to write that equation. Okay, next one slope is negative two, y-intercept is 10. So that equation would be y equals negative two x minus 10. And then the last one, our slope and our y-intercept are both 1.5, so it would be y equals 
1.5x plus 1.5.